Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Revit programming using Python. In these episodes I'm going to be using the Revit Python shell and Revit Lookup and I'm going to leave the links to download them in the description box. So the exercise that we are going to do today is creating walls based on some lines. So I'm going to start creating model lines so this is the first line this is the second one and then I'm going to try to make something like this and then join them now that we created these lines we are going to pick a wall let's take this one for instance and then select it and go to rivet lookup current selection and here we can find the get type ID. So we need this type ID. And we are going to need also this level ID. So just write them down. We are going to need them. So now that we have these model lines, we are ready to start our script. So I have a template here in which I have already imported the Autodesk Rivet database library and the UI selection and so on and the transaction also I, I named it create walls so I'm going to start by oh before that I forgot to select them so I'm just going to select them and open our file again so I'm going to use the selection and then let's go to Revit API docs I'm using the 2022 uh, Revit version and here I'm going to write wall class to check out how to create walls using the Revit API so inside walls I have members I'm going to click on it and then here we have methods and properties and what we need is these create methods so you can choose one of them I'm going to choose the last one here you have to create or you are going to create wall uh, using the specified wall type height and offset and also level type and so on you can just click on it and take a look at the arguments needed in order to create it so we are going to write wall and then point create which is the method and then uh, type down all the arguments inside so back to Revit Python shell I'm going to create a wall dot create and then we need to type doc comma and then we need the as we saw in here we need the document and then the curve so for now I'm just going to write ln and then we need the element ID of the wall type and the level ID also and then we need the height offset flip and structural these two are booleans I'm just going to put them on uh, false these two are booleans I'm just going to set them on false so let's go back I'm going to type now element ID and here I'm going to type the ID of the of the type of the wall and then the element ID of the level and then height 
I'm just going to write 10 and then the offset is going to be 0 and as we said false false so now we have got everything except for this ln which is the curve so I'm going to back to go back um, here so it's better to use these uh, lines and what am I going to do is to create a loop so for let's say s in selection tab I'm going to have this ln which is s dot I need to convert these lines in here into curves because um, Revit don't consider these lines as curves so let's go back to the Revit API docs and I'm going to type model line class and go to members and scroll down to properties in the properties we have to find something called geometry curve so geometry curve of the curve element let's click on it so this is how to use the syntax so I'm just going to copy this and go back to RPS and type it down so here it is and now I'm going to use the tab also here and the most necessary thing to do is to open the transaction so start and at the end I'm going to write t dot commit So let's take a look. We have selected the lines and we took each line of the selected lines and turned them into geometry curve that Revit, Revit can read. Then we created a wall using the doc which is this active UI document and we used the LN which is the lines in here that we already selected and then we used the element ID which uh, which is the the idea of the type of the wall that we are going to create and then we use the element id of the level which is the zero level and then we set the height which is 10 feet and then the offset we said it's zero and the other two arguments are uh, flip and structural we just set set them on false so now that we are done, let's click on run. And as you can see, we have got the walls in here. I'm not going to save it. So this is it. And these are our walls. So I hope this video was useful. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and see you next time.